the engine's starting, propellers turning, and they go up, up, and away into the sky. World War II fighter planes were at the Dubuque Regional Airport as part of the annual training done by the North American Trainer Association, where pilots learn to maneuver these pieces of history in formation. And this isn't their first time flying over Dubuque. It's our 10th year at Dubuque, here at the Jet Center, and uh, they treat us so nice we keep coming back. Pilots swoop in from all walks of life, including doctors, college professors, and former military. Larry Lumpkin, a retired airman, comes to this training session when he can in his P-51 Mustang, but the enjoyment goes past flying. Flying formation is some of the, you know, the best fun you can have in an airplane, in my opinion. Uh, you've got to really trust the guys that you're flying with, obviously. And the history of these planes is what keeps him above the clouds. And, you know, uh, that's when you really realize that it's more of a symbol then when you've got four or five of them or maybe eight of them, two flights of four. It's really symbolic at that point. It's really fun to get a veteran to come out and sit in the airplane or at least come out and talk to you about it. So it's pretty special when that happens. These pilots will set their sights on Oshkosh, Wisconsin next and hope to show everyone something special in the sky. We use this to tell kids and then tell them that here I was, an enlisted guy in the Air Force, E3 sergeant making no money, working hard, learning a responsibility, and uh, growing up, that anybody can do it. You know, it's just an example that if you apply yourself, you can do it. And that's the example we like to set for these kids. You know, never give up, work hard, keep your nose clean, and you can make things happen. For more on this story, stay on THonline.com. In Dubuque, Sam Lozada, TH Media.